a little bit of a rainy day here this morning at Carowinds. Hey, it's Andrew Park Rovers, and we are back at Carowinds for 2024 opening day. Let's check it out. So I was here last night for Passholder Preview Night and the media showcase. So I've already seen a lot of the new merchandise and tried some of the new food, but today I'm gonna focus on things I didn't see yesterday. Maybe try a lot of the food I didn't get to sample yesterday. The park officially opened at 10 a.m., but I didn't see any special announcement or anything, just in case you were wondering. I didn't have breakfast yet this morning, so I'm looking at the Starbucks. And I was looking at this Oleato in the last video, so I think I'm gonna go with that. And I'm gonna need to grab some food as well. Hmm, maybe that chicken maple butter and egg sandwich there. Here it is, the Oleato Cafe Latte. Looks delicious, it has oat milk. Cheers. Ooh. And here's the chicken maple butter and egg sandwich. So that sandwich is a pretty decent breakfast option here at Carowinds. Uh, I recommend it. I might try something else next time, but I thought it was pretty good. So now I think I want to get on the Sky Tower again. I did that last night, but I want to see what it looks like in the daytime. This latte is delicious, by the way. It might be my new go-to at Starbucks, though. I usually just do cold brew. I didn't factor in the raindrops on the windows here. You can see the amphitheater here. Oh, there's the old, the old raft ride. Looks like a forest. Interesting. Furies climbing the lift hill behind it. There's the water park in the distance. And here's Camp Snoopy. And there's Vortex looking sharp with its new paint job. Great ride on the Carolina Sky Tower as always. I don't know how much you could have seen because of the raindrops on the windows, unfortunately. I didn't really notice much that was new. Um, I did see the Snoopy's Junction train area is closed and seems to be cleared out a bit. And the old raft ride Rip Roaring Rapids looks a bit like a forest. Nature has definitely taken its course over there. Over by Nighthawk now, and I think we'll watch this coaster go around. This coaster, of course, used to be known as the Borg Assimilator with a Star Trek theme. And before that, this water was used by the Carolina Sternwheeler. Now I think it's time to check out the VIP lounge for the first time this year. And it is still very nice inside this tent. I'm just here for the ice cold water. Also, they have free snacks here. This outdoor area here is probably my favorite place to sit in all of Carowinds, right by the fountain. 
If I'm not mistaken, you can see the supports for the former Borg assimilator sphere that used to be out here on the water. Now I think we'll check out a little bit of Camp Snoopy along with the camp store. There he is. Here's all the 2024 merch I was looking at last night in premieres. This is pretty funny. Peanuts footballs, $18.99. This year I'm really gonna kick that football. I think I've seen this whole collection before, but I still love it. I like the Charlie Brown hats. 1999. Check out these Igloo stainless steel cans. These are $22.99 each. Nice. And a tall Charlie Brown coffee mug for $16.99. <laughs> Never noticed. <laughs> Never noticed this. Have a seat right by Snoopy. Wow, giant claw machine. Oh, you got it! Wait, no! <laughs> and there's also these smaller e claw machines for a pop and troll. Pokemon Bluey and Come Octopi Your Time. I don't know, a general octopus one? Is this a show? I don't think so. Okay, back into Camp Snoopy now. So this is what's interesting. Snoopy's junction is closed. It says it's temporarily closed. They put some benches here. This is the only train ride here at Carowinds. Also established 1973. It's Thunder Striker. I love this photo op. The doctor is in. I don't see the doctor though. Where is the doctor? Over here in the center of Camp Snoopy now. And this is where Camp Tivities is. And this show happens five times. Five times, at least today. Here's another fun photo op with Snoopy by his doghouse. And he's enjoying some classic blue ice cream from Granny's. Well, that was a fun little walk through Camp Snoopy. I'm glad I got to uh, stroll through again. Now we're over in what I believe is still called the crossroads section of the park. Yep, crossroads. But we're just gonna cross over to Aeronautica Landing, passing by Afterburn. Now the classic B&M invert used to be called Top Gun. And it's running two trains. Very nice. So now we're gonna head into Aeronautica landing. Right in the center of the land is the founder's icon here with its dedication plaque. I just love this land and all of its theming. 
here's the air walker. One thing I noticed is that the Festival of Music is using the Aeronautica Theater over by the former Plants vs. Zombies. Well, I think I want to take a ride on Gearspin. I've only been on this a couple of times. Well, that was a fun ride on Gearspin, and now just out and about are here. <laughs> you excited? Just rain it. Tyler took my seat. He's smart. My seat was already dry. Uh, you, don't, you didn't have a choice, no, unfortunately. <laughs> there they go. I already lost track of them. Where'd they go? <laughs> oh, they're way over there. Woo. <laughs> well, that was a good time on Gearspin. I ended up talking to Don and Tyler from Just Out and About for quite a bit. Make sure to follow Just Out and About if you aren't already. I also met Nate's here and there. He does graveyards, roadside stuff, theme parks, and more. Check him out. So now I think it's time for some elevated brews and bites at Terminal A. Last night at the Media Showcase, Chef John mentioned the Terminal A burger, and we saw that on the table there. Uh, so I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get that. So here we go, up the steps to Terminal A. Here's a look at the Terminal A menu. I'm very interested in the the burger the grilled chicken sandwich and the Asian spare ribs as well. Interesting you have some Leonardo's pizza on the shareables. Drunken waffle fries, a pretzel, oh, the Asian salad, we tried that last night. The chicken wonton taco, and the, we tried the mushroom as well last night. Here are the desserts. Here's a look at the cocktail menu. They also have beer and wine, Coca-Cola products, and water. Went with a sour from Little James Brewery. And it looks like they have new napkins, unless these were here last year. I don't remember them. Here it is, this is the Terminal A burger, a char grill burger topped with a bacon tomato jam. Oh, it looks like it's right down there. And you have cheddar cheese arugula, a house-made roll. Oh, of course, that fried egg. This looks amazing. And it's served with waffle fries. I think I'm gonna cut this in half and see what happens. And this is what we're dealing with. You can see the bacon jam on the bottom, the burger, the fried egg, the arugula, house-made roll, perfect. This is a little messy, but it's fantastic. Okay, I wanna show you the drunken waffle fries. These are tossed in garlic and Parmesan cheese topped with house-made beer cheese fresh bacon bits and chives. Wow, this is not mine, but it's a buddy of mine that's at the bar here. Wow, that burger was fantastic here at Terminal A. Highly recommend it. It is a little messy, so you might need to get some extra napkins. I haven't watched the Netflix show Love is Blind, but I know there's a picture of them out here on the patio here at Terminal A. So I think with that, our day might be done. Actually, there's one thing I want to do. Oh wow, now I'm distracted by <laughs> claw machines. Is this the year of the claw? A lot of claw machines here at Carowinds. I'm tempted to play. Oh, this game's called Safe Cracker. 
here's a Pokemon claw machine, and here is, oh, this is called Cat Shark. Look at these cute cats. Okay, I've got to play Cat Shark. Let's do this. Oh my god. Ah! Oh. Dang. Here we go. This this has got to hit. Come on. Oh no! <laughs> I I didn't get a cat. I'm sorry. So the last thing I need to do is go to the hive at 325. I've been thinking about this t-shirt, so I think I gotta get it. And I got it, $24.60. I saved about four bucks with my season pass discount. So now I think it's time to hit the road. It's been a good opening day here at Carowinds. We started out uh, at Starbucks getting a sandwich and we got a couple of rides in, ran into some friends, ate at the Terminal A bar. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Park Rovers, and we'll see you next time. One last look at Fury.